please each of you have a water because we don't want to see dehydration. Yevnige Salibian doesn't want to see that. <laughs> Araxi jamana ke chhe egats hima hantardir kuirik amen inchi jamana ke ga hima nor jamana ke chhe in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit hair vorti ev surpoki surpiar ortutyan anonov hosenk ais kerezmanotsi mech inch vor gedesnek Takaman, Yevnige Salibiani, Marmine, Asiga Che, Yevnige Salibiani, Yevnige Salibiani, De Rochukovne, Anor Hokin Hone, Inch Worga, this thing, Marmine. This is the body and not, this is not Yevnige Salibian, it's the body of the. The spirit is with the Lord, and that is victorious, and that's beautiful, and that gives us hope. And that's why we are gathered here to sing. As you see, there is a program in your hand. We're going to sing together. We're going to pray together. We're going to listen from the scripture. We're going to hear testimonies. And you know what? I'm celebrating. Okay? I am celebrating. Uh, I, we will miss her. We will miss her. That one side of it. It's not, you know, we will remember her. We will miss her. But one other side, we are thankful. Let us pray. Yet Nabor Hair Park Kudank Yev Shinora Galenk for Hairur Mektari by Sir Yevnige Salibiana Mezihet. Adiga Kuzavagade of Der, Zanav, Metsav, Abretsav Asashari Vra, Amusnatsa Badveli Head, Zavagner Torner Unetsav, Ye Minchev Gyankin Verchin Shuncha, Ku Havadarim Zavagade Radiga, Vagaelov. Paravorelov kusur panunat. Hima jamanak ne vort cede sutiuna sink. Ai ov der cede sutiun. Ai sinken minche vor orme yeves bidi deste vink tem artem iren het yevkezi het. Minch ai ov der ais hugar gavortiam başta monkin sur pokit mezi het alla. Badraste mezi vor besi mkhitar vink kezmov yev kachaler vink kezmov. Heavenly Father, we are here this afternoon to say goodbye, just goodbye, until we meet again. Because you promised us that this is not an end, it's a new beginning. So comfort us this afternoon while we are singing and praying and praising you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, uh, please join me. Uh, there are many musicians here, and no pipe organ, but many musicians that we can celebrate and sing together. We saw, we, 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 uh, the family and I chose those songs because those songs are, each song has some meaning with Yevnige Salibian. The first one, Amender Yeskertam Hisusi Head. This is exactly the life of Salibians. Thinking from Eintap, all the way to Aleppo, Beirut, Anjar, Ashrafiye, San Francisco, uh, Ararat home, Amen der Yeskertam Hisusiet. Sorry, it's in Armenian, so bear with us. Amen mad vor hayren ki de hajik miat seginzi. Amen der Gertam Yester Hisusiet. Amen de Gaba Hoves is Nahavet. Watch me de Arans Iren Galamurak. Amen de Hisusi het Gertam Ambach. Amen de Amen de Ambach Ambertov. Amen de Purchis het Gertam Abahov. Ier de Rods het Gem Gregus het Gem Garot. Paregam Yer Zis Leken, Hisus Emot, Yer Pajin Salami Vardara Banans, Hisus of Gala and Der Istun Parats, Amen Der, Amen Der, Ambaham Bertov, Amen Der, Hirchis et Gertam Abaho. Amen der yes der och mov nan chelger nam 
Telavorhos Achker Sache Panam Pites de Roch Pogin Sainen Yerp Artenam He Susi Baizar Temket Bit Gerstanam Amende Amende Ambach Ambertov Amende Purchis Het Gertamaba Next time I need altos and basses and tenors. Yevnige <laughs> likes harmony. So short sign obi dear king ha short year kere. So now if you see to the program we move to a psalm that is so meaningful to not only to Salibians but for all of us, which is Psalm 23, which we'll hear it in two languages. Sanier <laughs> Kutsubut ukavazanok anok zis bide mechitaren. Serange vadrastes im archeves im tishtami rutz timats. Im kluches yirov godes. Im pajages chislet sune. Hiravi parerartunu vor mutune in zihet bide kan. Yankis polor orerum mech. Ushad orer deroche dune bide panagim. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You, pre you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup over overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hachort Yerka, the next song is Old Oak Buis, Siro Christos. Again, this is one of our favorite music that we like to see. So in the beginning it's a duet. Come on guys, where are the altos? Uh, no, or tenor. Okay? Then we, the, the chorus comes. Yes, Oh, 
my mother and towards each one of you assembled here. Thank you for coming. We thank Bhakti Nurses for being our faithful minister for whom my mother prayed and asked for prayer requests to pray for him. I praise God who has accomplished and does accomplish all things for us. Yesterday Listen to Shushan, my sister-in-law, whose mother was like our mother, in that after the war, Verkin went to have uh, to teach the word of God to refugee Armenian children, and then she was instrumental in 1942 to start Sunday schools for the Apostolic Church and to write the literature. What a heritage! Thank you, Shushan. Uh, so. My mother was born, our mother was born in Antep in 1914. So how many years old is she? Yeah, a centennial. She lived a centennial. And she tasted the genocide atrocities. Sadly, when she was 13 years old, Yevnige lost her mother and she longed to see her mother. And she prayed thus. Lord, I don't know the way. I want to walk in the way. At that moment, peace came into her heart. Then she surrendered her life to her Lord and Savior. And from that time on, she used to rise early every morning to pray and read the Bible and pray for his brothers and sisters. And she became like a mother to them. At 13 year old, she used to make bread for them, just uh, kneading bread with her hands and washing their clothes, 13 year old. Um, Jesus had filled the void in her heart. The Lord saved this family of Apostians of seven children and for, brought them to safety to Lebanon. Then my mo mother, our mother grew up, she became 21 years old. She had long hair braided, which was very beautiful. And my father as a pastor was attracted to, to the girl with the long hair. And they got married after, uh, after my mother's father said, no, not yet, not yet. But at last he prayed a lot and prevailed and married her. And my mother, uh, served with, with him 50 years in Lebanon. God gifted them with six children, but one of them was taken to heaven when he was 17 years old with his 20 other uh, students. 21 children died in one day. From that time on, my father began to preach about heaven, which he had not done before. Their eyes were fixed on the heavenly mansions, and in the aftermath, a revival broke up in Central High School, which has continued to this day. Our mother was comforted for the death of her son. Our father trained us, six children, to be sure of our salvation, and then to serve the Lord. When I was only 17, he asked me and commanded me to teach the first graders in Sunday school. I didn't know how to do that. Also, my father was the first one who started the Sunday schools for Armenian refugee children in Beirut. 
which such wonderful Christians like Samuel Pashikyan and Dr. Krikorian. My parents' passion to reach Armenian refugee children for Christ became also our vision when George became my mentor husband. That passion and service of ours continues to this day. So we want to see all children saved in California and in Armenia. We, the five children, learned from our parents that the salvation of souls is the priority of life. What a legacy. In the last week of her life in the Holy Cross Hospital near the Ararat home, to all those who came to her bedside, she was whispering. Her voice hardly was being heard. She was whispering, and everybody was bending to hear her words. She had one question. Will I see you in heaven? Her children were close by her bedside, her five children, and she prayed with each one of us and asked us to confess our sins, which we had not done before, right there. She, she wanted to hear it so that we can meet her in heaven. She had loved and prayed for us constantly. We can sum up her life in these two immortal verses in 1 Corinth, Corinthians chapter 15. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. Praise the Lord. What an amazing life our mother had living with Elohim on earth. And we were part of it for many years, with many beautiful memories, countless golden nuggets of wisdom passed on to us. We are her blessed children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren to continue with the challenge to live for Christ. Yevnige obeyed Christ to live a legacy of faith. Yes, they had pains, sufferings, distresses, persecutions that followed them, but they walked through them with Jesus. And this is glorious because Jesus is dwelling in us. Thank you. So now we will sing another song. It is well with my soul. It's, a, it's an appropriate song to sing today. The words are so meaningful. The author of this song lost everything. Lost his job, lost his children, lost everything, and then he wrote this song. So when you hear Yevnige's life with Badveli Salibian, they went through many difficulties, ups and downs. So, 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 so let's sing this song. And follow me, the last verse, I'm going to raise the pitch. So follow me because the last verse is spoke about the trumpet and second coming of Jesus. So let's sing. Well, let me see. Last time I took the wrong pitch. This time I used my small uh, piano. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I don't have a perfect pitch. Pierre Paga Uchuni Prep Ket Gehorte Gab Sab Gi Prali Homahu Sin Pore Pajins Usu Sir Tu Inste Parie Parie Parie, parie, imok fus, imok fus, parie, parie, imok fus. Te je porcučun u tebe zis paden hiše. Dekadas, desirum, im tas 
job there. <laughs> All Merjanias will have job there. <laughs> oh, I'm jobless. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will have all perfect pitch in heaven. Don't worry. <laughs> I put on the, on the program, as you see on the, on, in, the, uh, in the bulletin, I put words of remembrance. In, in fact, I asked Araxi to say, wh where, is it? where are you, Araxi? I don't know where she is. I'm looking for her. Yegur hos, kovus Yegur. <laughs> I remember one thing distinctly. Every morning at 4 a.m., my mother and father would wake up and pray for each one of us. Because I was most quiet child. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Armine, don't tell me how what I was. Uh. <laughs> I used to many days. I went behind their room, under the wall, in the corridor, and listened. And to what they were praying, and what they were praying for each one of us. And I never, never forget. Always together. My father always read the Bible to my mother, and he was the leader. And he, my father, impressed me so much. Every morning at 4 a.m. And something else when my mother was here, he always told me, Araxi, when we pray and I pray at 4 a.m., it is so dark, dark, dark outside, but you know what? After the darkest hour, it's the lightest hour comes. Amen. And she always told me, Roxy, no matter how dark is your life, after the darkest hour, the, light, the, the, the brightest light will come. 
she always told me that. And I never forget. After the darkest hour, the lightest hour will come. And I will remember that when I am in the dark. <coughs> and I will never, never forget it. And I almost talked with her every morning. And she was such an inspiration to me. Like she was my confidant mm. and my friend. And I loved her so much. And I am very blessed to have a mother like that. Amen. Amen. That's it. Thank you, Araxi. Amen, Amen Araxi. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm thankful. Uh, she was hesitant. That's why I didn't put her name on the program. But I'm glad you did share with us, uh, Araxi. It means a lot. Uh, to us it means a lot and it will stay in my mind this this image four o'clock in the morning praying yeah. and when it's dark when you pray there is light it will stay in my it's mind the darkest, the brightest. brightest come that's great thank you yeah. well here's the word of God you know uh, we will finish this celebration I will put celebration our worship it's a worshiping God celebrating with him for the life of uh, Yevnige. Here are the two scriptures, a small, it's very short, but one from uh, uh, Paul writing to the Corinthians saying, I'm sorry, it's going to be in Armenian. That's why the family asked me to read in Armenian, thinking about Yevnige and uh, Badveli Salivian and their life many years preaching in Armenian. Uremen yetege karozvi te Christos merelneren harutun aradze. Inchpes says me woman kesente merel nerun harutun chiga. Patiete merel nerun harutun harutun chiga. Uremen Christos al harutun arache. Uyete Christos harutun arache. Uremen mer karuzutun unaine. Utser habatnal unaine. Barabe. Is mengal astuzo sud veganeregalang. Borode astuzo hamar vegae sink te merel neren harutsan. It's Christos. Mister harutsana chezain. Yete irabes merel nere harutun chenarne. Can you get a meal near Harutun Chenarner? Christos al Harutun Arache, Yev, Ser Havatke, Puje, Unaine, Barabe, Yev Tagavin, Ser Merkerum Mechek, Uremen, Christosom Nenchetial Nernal Gorsovaze. Yet a me and I skiankin Amar Christos who sat Sazen, Menk Polaris, Menk Polaris Martotsmen Aveli Herjaliank. So this was the from the first Corinthians uh, fifteen is talking about. If Christ is not risen from the dead, what are we doing here? What are we doing with anything? Why are we playing organ? Why are we playing any instrument? Why are you singing in a choir? The resurrection of Christ is, is giving us a hope to be here. And after my sermon, we're going to lower the casket. And it's not an end. It's not an end. It's a new beginning. So the second, the second passage, it's a classical passage. I chose the first one which most of the pastors read during a funeral. But the second passage is, is, is a favorite of mine, and I'm going to contemplate on that. It's from Matthew chapter 25. Matthew 25. So, so, so the title of my sermon I took, Abris Pari Havadarim Zara. Well done, good and faithful servant. I think that's the only way I can summarize Yevnige Salibian's life. That's the only way I can su summarize. Kirek Yerb Lurus Tatsavor Aisor Hogarga Vortune Bidenem Arashortem Mitkesesi Inch Kernamasel Hairur Mektaregan Yeretskini Metaman. I am humbled. Uh, I'm a pastor. Yes, Bad William. Yes, Gazar I am. Genal SPC Takarim Archev. SPC Batmutiam Archev. Gohonarim, yes, Astozo Archev. The cello of their in this sorbet sur. Abris Pari Havadarim Zara. Yerek Parer Pari Havadarim Zara. So I'm taking three words, pari, good, havadarim, faithful, zara, servant. So three words. The first word, 
Again, let me read it in English. I wrote that in English as well. Once a young man came to Jesus and said, Good teacher, he asked, What must I do to inherit the eternal life? This is Mark 10. And what did Jesus say? You remember what Jesus said when someone said and said, Good teacher. What was the answer of Jesus? Anyone? Why do you call me good? No one is good except good alone, God alone. Gidek, ye for megi egav Jesusi artuts vor pari var tabet. Inch ne vor yergin ki takavorutyu metnam. Jesus asa vor inch us is pari gamvanes. Mian asvats pari e. Chek karnar chek kartser vor yes ay samar yet esei yev nige salibian osnatsadlal. Pari yev nige esei. So vor get sir badveli yes pari ink hoben chem ansats vor esei. You know, she will not she will reject that. She will say, "No, no." In pariutyunas gabuni astudzo pariutyanet. Inch for in matches, yes, as to the ambidan zaranem, as what's parie, yet ir pariutu never matcheska. So I think that's a good word to remember for all of us. For parin as to zmeguka. So, yev nigen adibi de sermezi. But the second word, havadarim, faithful. Kidega siga dagant neru aragenguka, at the parable of dagant, gifts, talents. Someone took five, someone took two, someone took one. Yevnige took ten. <laughs> it's not in the Bible, it's beyond the Bible. <laughs> she took ten and made it twenty and forty. Mm -hmm. Why I'm saying this, listen, this, I'm not exaggerating, I'm saying it because uh, Sevan and I got married 29 years ago and Just one moment. <clears throat> we served places that Salibian served. I don't know. This is God's hand that I will, I will be here right now do this funeral. They were in Anjar, I was in Anjar. We served there. They were in Ashrafia, I served in Ashrafia. They were, in fact, they started a new church in in a, in a neighborhood called Amanos and that church is the, la the, last, the, the last church the Armenian evangelicals built in the Middle East. And I'm so emotional about it because three months ago I was there. I served there for six years but my eye is there to help them, to support them because it's a poor neighborhood and there are so many Syrian refugees so many Syrian refugees there. And, and, and see how God used Salibians to start a church to serve Syrian refugees. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Can, you see, can you see how this thing happening? This can... later. This can... Vacation Bible school in watch the make shapat, hink shapat. Wow. Okay, in a in a church that was built by them. My brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, I am celebrating today. I am joyful today. Asutso Parkudam anons Havadar Mutyan. The faithfulness they have towards God. Irens Havadar Mutyuna in Zi. Inzi orinage, or yes, I shall not game. Ipur hoviv, nuin nuin havadar mutiam. And the last word, zara, servant. You know, Paul. Whenever he wrote, what did? How did he start? How did Paul start his letters? Bogos arakial, derochet zaran. Right, doulos in in Greek. It it was a title. In the beginning in the church, it became a title for the, for the, for the Christians to be a Zara. Servant is a title. And I think Salib, Mrs. Salibian is, is, is the right title for her to be called Zara. But if you have a lot of people who are in the world, you can't get a lot of people who are in the world. 
անվգայեց երբ Սան Ֆրանսիսկոյի մեջ էր անվգայեց երբ Արարատ դուն կնաց անվգայեց երբ Սեղասպանության հայուրամյակի նարիթով հարցալ զուրույց ունեցավ անվգայեց նույնիսկ Քիմ Քարդաշյանին իսկ թուկ զավակները ասիկ թե ինչպես հիվանդանոցի մեջ իր ցավերուն մեջ գշարունակեր վգայել Հիսուսի մասին հիվանդաբահույներուն եւ բժիշկներուն մինչե վերջին վարգյան Եմնիգե Սալիբյանը վգայեց ծարայեց հայերեն հայկական ոդանավորներում է Սիամանտոն սերը ես երկելով գուզեմ մերնիլ եւ նիգե Սալիբյան գսե ես վգայելով գուզեմ մերնիլ I don't know how I cannot translate that to English someone in Armenian said uh, a poet said when I die I want to I, when I'm dying I'm I like to die in singing I would like to die singing and I think Yevnige Salipian would say I would like to die witnessing and serving she even was singing in the last week I will not be surprised <laughs> I will not be surprised <laughs> Exactly Yevnigei vgayutyuna ir gyanki masin che Yevnigei vgayutyuna der Isus Christosi masin e anor gyankin anor khachin anor harutyan masin e Kidek ais arabot ais arabot va im menik bahis hamarnere This is my this morning I woke up at 6 o'clock and this is the quiet time I was having and here are the words of God came to me this morning this was the passage that I was reading So do not lose heart and I like that Do not lose heart I think that will be our comforting uh, to all of us Sirdeni to chikhrovi mitsansrana do not lose Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Amen. For this light momentary affliction is uh, preparing for us to an eternal weight of glory beyond all compar com comparison as we look onto the things that are seen, but the things that are not unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are not seen, eternal. This was my father's words. Always he said, "Our outer body." Is you Always know. Always he told that my father all the time. And that that's 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 them. That's that's and that's us. Not just them. Us. If you don't re go look to your mirror. I, I'm changing. <laughs> <laughs> look to my hair. I'm changing every day. We're changing every day. Uh, so, and that is Yevnige's message to us this afternoon before we say in higher end of you know what does it mean until we meet again it's not goodbye in English you say goodbye that's a final goodbye but in Armenian we say uh, I think in the Hawaiian language they use the word uh, uh, the Hawaiian bye-bye uh, inche aloha which means until we meet again yeah, until we meet again. So it's like Sedesutun. So Aloha, Yevnige. You know? Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we are gathered here celebrating the life of Yevnige. Example of how to live on this earth. Now this is the moment we are gathered here singing, praying, laughing, crying, raising our voices to you. We know that she is with you, joining with her husband, their son, with uh, all people, other people who believed in you and they are united with you. With that hope that one day we will be united with you as well. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to lower the casket and we're going to have flowers in our hands and we will put flowers on the casket and we will sing the Lord's Prayer Heirmer in Armenian and that will conclude our service today.
Yetnabor Hor Kahans Nank, Yevniger Salibiani Hokin, Marmino Horin, Hokin Astazo, Ice Vartabor Gnedenk, Ice Takarin Verago Horotanesche, Haruchuna, Yekrot Kaluse, his sin, what poor be the Henche, Yavame Marminer Harchumidan. They're not gonna out think. Amen. I know. It's a tough day. But it's a victorious day.